Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria. I hope you're all doing great. I, on the other hand, am a little under the weather. I have caught a cold, and um, although I am fighting it pretty good, it is really been making me tired. And so I did have quite a few more um, love DIYs that I wanted to do. I don't know that I'll get to all of them now, but hopefully there's still a couple more that I hope to um, show all of you. So here I have two more of the Dollar Tree love signs. And because the other love signs that I used for my lantern, if you haven't seen the video of that, I will post the link in the description box below. Because it was very well liked, and I thank all of you for your wonderful, kind comments. I had a couple more of these signs, and I figured I would make another type of lantern or standing shelf. So, the first thing that I already went ahead and did was, you can see here is the ribbon that was strung through at the top of the signs. I just removed those. And then I started to remove the metal hearts, because what I want to do is I want to trace over the letters and fill them in with this permanent marker in black from Jot. It's a chisel tip. And as much as I love these signs, I do wish that they were in black and white. Um, I can understand why they would use the red, but I think the black and white just give it more of a farmhouse look. And that's what I wanted to go for with this lantern. So I'm just going to go ahead. This one here, I've already removed it. But for some reason, on these two signs, it seems like they glued every um, part of the heart. So as I was removing it, it started to bend a little bit um, the metal. And so I don't want that. So this one here, I'm just going to keep it on and then trace around it. This one, I've already removed it. But I'm going to fill everything in, trace it, fill it in, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so the fronts are now done. I'm just going to flip the signs over and using my white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to coat the backs two times. Okay, so next working on my picture frames, I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing and the paper as well as these metal spikes and then I will glue the glass into the picture frames. working on my picture frames so you can see I've already removed the backing the paper and the metal spikes that hold the glass in place now I'm ready to glue the glass into the frame for this I'm only using my hot glue because both of the frames will be turned upside down so the glass will be sitting into the frame so I don't worry about um, the glass as much when it's that way if it was the other way and then the glass is underneath the picture frame then I usually do use the E6000 glue just to make sure that that glass isn't going to fall out. So I'm going to go ahead and add the glass. I'm going to go ahead and take my signs and I'm going to face them the right way and I'm just going to place them inside of the frame here now remember the frame I've turned it over so the right side is facing down the glass is sitting into the frame I'm going to center my signs being that they're not as wide as the frame so I want them centered to the frame and then what I'm gonna do before I glue the bottom is I'm actually going to glue the tops first so that I have them both in place and once that's glued together, I can lift one at a time each side and then glue the bottom to the inside of the frame. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to take my placemat. I'm just going to simply fold it in half. And once I have it folded in half, I take my scissors and then I cut it along the center line so that I have two um, halves. Now, with the first half, I'm just going to, so say this is the back here, I'm just going to add some glue here and here, and then I'm going to place the placemat against that glue. Then I'm going to have to trim off the excess, but I'll do that after. Then with this second half piece, I'm going to place it um, as best I can to cover up as much of an area as I can, and then I will end up having a little piece that I'll just take um, some of the excess of the second half and then patch that up. Well, I love how the placemat turned out for the back of this lantern. As you saw, I just placed my pieces, added the glue, held it in place, and then once everything was dried, I took my scissors and very easily I trimmed all around the back of the lantern. It's lightweight, so it stays on here great, and I think it looks awesome. Um, I will be covering the lantern, just the edges of the lantern, the bottom of the lantern with nautical rope, but quite honestly, this looks really great, and if you didn't want to do that, it would look absolutely fine just like this. Before I add my nautical rope to the lantern, I need to work on the smaller frame which is going to be my shelf for the inside of the lantern. Now I also will be turning this upside down and again the glass will be sitting into the frame. Now the front of this frame is a nice wood finish which I am leaving just like that. But the back of the frame I'm going to be covering it with the nautical rope just to tie everything in together. Once I've covered the frame, I'm going to add some hot glue and some E6000 glue and then I just insert it inside my lantern very slowly. I bring it up and once each side of the uh, frame is touching the signs, I just hold it in place until that hot glue has dried and then with time that E6000 glue will adhere to give it a stronger hold. Now I won't be placing anything heavy on this shelf, most likely I'll only be putting um, an LED flameless candle from the Dollar Tree, um, so it'll be fine for what I'm using it for, but if you wanted to place something a little bit heavier, then I would suggest just adding some extra support to the bottom of the frame. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and add the nautical rope to this and place the shelf inside of the lantern and then all I will have left to do is finish off the outside and bottom of the lantern with the nautical rope. I've glued my frame into the lantern. I used one bunch of the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I added my hot glue and E6000 glue to each side, but I also added some in the back, so now it's attached to the placemat in behind as well. Starting on my second bunch of nautical rope, I cut off a piece and I halfway on the top where the signs join, I glued it down then I will bring it over and then glue the other half down meeting up in the center and that will be my handle for the lantern. Then I will take my nautical rope and starting at one corner I will work my way up, go across the lantern and then all the way down. 
I'll cut that off and do the other side. Once I've cut off the other side over here, then I will take the nautical rope and then just wrap it on top of the back of the frame and then my lantern will be complete. I will go ahead and dress it up a little bit to show you what it looks like once it is done. Okay, so just a little tip if this is something that you're going to make, being that I made the mistake myself, I want to prevent you from doing it. So what I did was when I was gluing down the nautical rope, I glued it on the front. So for this side, it works out great. When I went to do it on the back, I was doing the same thing. I was going over top of that edge but then the front ended up looking not very nice. So what I had to do was pull apart the nautical rope and I was afraid that the placemat was gonna come off, but it didn't. So I know that that's on very well. And then I just turned it around and then I went on the edge of the front of the sign. This way you get a nicer look from the side and it still looks great from the back. So now for this side, again, I will go down the front, but for the back side, I will just bring my nautical rope on the front, down the front of the sign. Okay guys, so here is my second Dollar Tree Lantern using the Love Decor sign and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad how the placemat worked in behind. I just love how it looks. It worked out really well and then of course the nautical rope. I added six of the Dollar Tree LED flameless candles and then I placed four of the ceramic Dollar Tree birds in there and as soon as I placed them in there it reminded me of a birdhouse. So really nice for spring as well. But really if you decorate this seasonally, I think it would look great any time of the year. I also added some Dollar Tree rose petals in there. And I absolutely love it. I'm glad that I ended up putting the nautical rope on top as a handle so now I can lift this and move it around with ease. Now I know in the comments from the other lantern that I made, some of you are just not able to find this particular sign. I know how it feels because last year I really was hoping that we would see these in Canada and they just never came to my Dollar Trees. And the crazy thing is this year, one Dollar Tree that I go to had absolutely no decor signs, which 
I couldn't believe it. And I mentioned it to um, the girls that work there and they were like, yeah, we were surprised we didn't get any signs. So I don't know, you know, sometimes you find them and sometimes you just don't. But even if you can't find this particular sign, just keep your eyes open if this is a DIY that you would like to make. I know at Halloween they have a sign that's very similar to this one, but I believe it says boo. So sometimes you might be able to come across another sign that you can use in place of this one. But I'm so, so pleased with how this has turned out. Now I'm going to quickly move this to another room in my home and change it up to show you another way that you could use this if this is something that you like and not only will it be nice for decor but it will also have a function so let me go ahead and change this up and show you what it looks like okay guys so here I've moved into my bathroom and I believe this is where this piece will be staying because I absolutely love how it looks in here. So this is where I would call it a standing shelf because that is what it would be used for. Although I still have lit it up with this LED candle on the top and then I don't know how well you can see but in behind, which is what I loved about using the placemat, is I wrapped the wire LED light set from the Dollar Tree onto the placemat. So I'm still able to light this piece up even though I've used it to hold many other things inside. So here on the bottom I have my soap dispenser and this one worked out great because it is lower and I still have room where I can pump the soap. Beside that are some hand towels from the Dollar Tree and then beside my candle on the little shelf, I have a couple of hand and nail creams from the Dollar Tree as well. These are really, really nice. They are by Pure Passion Fine Soaps and Lotions. In front, I have Jasmine and Water Lily, which I love, and Lavender Chamomile. I absolutely love this piece in here. It goes really nice with the rest of the decor that I have in my bathroom. And yes, definitely, I believe it will be staying here. Well, that will do it for this DIY. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video if you can, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, you take care of yourselves and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.